Queen Elizabeth II has ruled the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth for 67 years but has, at the age of 93, started giving way for other members of the royal family. Queen Elizabeth II is Britain's longest reigning monarch, but at the age of 93, has felt the need to bring in help from other members of her family. In addition to her royal duties, she also has a massive family to take care of, including eight grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren. This could be why the Queen is now sharing some of her most profound duties with one of her grandchildren, Prince William. William is second in line to the throne, behind his father Prince Charles, and will likely be king one day. But a royal author has now given insight to how the Queen's relationship with her grandson has changed and become more difficult because of it. She told Nine News Australia, Prince William is going to be king one day. The Queen is 93 and she's offloading a lot of her work both to her son and to her grandson. William has really had to up the ante and take on a lot of this heavy lifting. The two work closely together and Queen Elizabeth II has spent much of her life mentoring William for his future role. According to another expert, this had made their relationship much more serious than it is with the Queen's other grandchildren. E. News Royal correspondent Melanie Bromley said Prince William and the Queen's relationship is half family and half business. One of William's main responsibilities is his work with conservation. The Duke of Cambridge is supporting communities to protect their natural environment for future generations. He has publicly supported initiatives to fund conservation, community development and environmental education programs across Africa as royal patron of the Tusk Trust. Through the Royal Foundation, Prince William has also founded United for Wildlife, a collaboration between seven of the world's most influential conservation organizations. Prince William has said of the work, let us not tell our children the sad tale of how we watched as the last elephants, rhinos and tigers died out, but the inspiring story of how we turned the tide and preserved them for all humanity. In addition, the Duke is committed to helping children and young people to build their skills, confidence and aspirations. Together with his wife, Kate Middleton, he spearheaded the Heads Together mental health campaign, leading a coalition of eight mental health charity partners to change the national conversation on mental health. Prince William will become the King of Great Britain after his father Prince Charles. But why does it appear that he might be less than excited about his ascension to the throne? Prince William is the eldest son of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana. He is second in line to the throne, while his children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, are third, fourth and fifth in line. The Duke of Cambridge has been raised to eventually take on the role of king, but there have been reports over the years that the prince did not want to be king. So how has Prince William failed to live up to Queen Elizabeth II's mighty reputation? The Queen has a powerful and lasting legacy, having ruled for 67 years, making her the longest reigning British monarch in history. The 93-year-old Queen is also still working hard and given that she passed the age of retirement 28 years ago, has made no show of slowing down. Given the royals are funded by the taxpayers, a record of their engagements is available to the public. According to an analysis compiled from the court circular, the Queen is the second hardest working of the 15 working royals, having completed 122 official engagements to date this year. She was only beaten by her eldest daughter and son, Princess Anne and Prince Charles, who have so far undertaken 137 and 131 engagements this year. But now speculation as to whether Prince William wants to be king has arisen after figures reveal he has completed almost half the amount of engagements of his father. The Queen has a reputation for being extremely hard-working and frugal. Dermot Moore wrote about her strong work ethic in his book about the Queen called Illustrated Story of 21 Years in the Life of the Heir Presumptive. He wrote, She is a hard worker. She hates to leave any task unfinished or to abandon any problem until she has mastered it. She is always ready to take great trouble over small things, especially when she suspects that things which are small to her may be of great importance to humbler people. In 2018, the Queen undertook a massive 199 engagements, which is roughly 16 or 17 a month. 
By comparison, her second in line to the throne grandson completed only 121 engagements, which is roughly 10 per month. Despite a 56-year age gap, the queen continues to commit herself to her duties with steadfast dedication. Her eldest son, Prince Charles has started to take on some of her duties in recent years, believed to be training for when he ascends to the throne. Prince Charles, by comparison, undertook a massive 189 engagements in 2018. Republic, an anti-monarchy group has taken issue with Prince William's level of commitment claiming it shows disinterest in his destiny. It said, how can the monarchy survive when the younger generation can't be bothered to do even the light workload of their parents? It's not working like the rest of us know it. Their hours include watching sports matches and theater. But the real question these figures raise is does William want to be king? Or is he just doing the bare minimum to keep his family happy in the hope he can have his cake and eat it? Journalist Jeremy Paxman claims to have conversed with Princess Diana about her son's feelings about becoming king. He said, we talked about our children and she said William often told her that he didn't really want to be king, and then Harry would say, if you don't want the job I'll have it. However, it now seems that Prince Harry has changed his tune. In 2017, Prince Harry told Newsweek, we are involved in modernizing the British monarchy. We are not doing this for ourselves but for the greater good of the people. Is there anyone of the royal family who wants to be king or queen? I don't think so, but we will carry out our duties at the right time.